Along the volcanic legacy scenic highway in southern Oregon sits deep water in a sleepy volcano called Crater Lake. It's the deepest lake in the United States, recorded at 1,943 feet deep. But perhaps more inspiring is its purity. No inlet feeds into the lake, only pure snow and rainfall. The result, pristine ultramarine water. Due to the water's clarity and depth, sunlight penetrates deeply, leaving only shorter wavelengths of majestic blues and violets to scatter and reflect back for us to see. So how did this crater come to be? Well, for starters, it's not from a meteorite. Instead, it's what is known as a caldera, a cauldron-like hollow created after a volcanic eruption. In the case of Crater Lake, it was born more than 7,000 years ago when Mount Mazama erupted. Mazama stood at an elevation of 12,000 feet. The massive eruption threw ash and pumice into the stratosphere around 30 miles high. The subsequent collapse of the summit brought the elevation down to only 8,157 feet. A new caldera was born from this geological event, now measuring five miles in diameter and one mile deep. It took hundreds of years to fill to today's level with only rain and snowfall. After the first major eruption, smaller eruptions occurred, which formed cinder cones like the one you see here named Wizard Island. Wizard Island was just lucky enough to grow taller than the waterline so we can see it today. In spite of its violent past, the lake now shines like a sparkling sapphire fit tight in the surrounding crater.